and welcome back to our coverage of the WPT World Online Championships. I'm joined by World Poker Talk commentator Tony Dunst, and we're about to introduce a very exciting guest, the winner of our Six Max Championship event, our new WPT champion. He's one of the best live tournament players in the world, amassing $17.5 million in live tournament earnings, and now he's added $490. $4,550 to his online accolade, Nick Petrangelo. Welcome, welcome. Congratulations, Nick. Not only have you won a half a million dollars, but also a Hublot Classic Fusion Titanium watch, a set of everyday Baccarat crystal tumblers because everything tastes better in Baccarat, and a seat to our WPT Tournament of Champions presented by Baccarat Crystal. So let's lead off with the easy one. How does it feel to be a WPT champion now? Yeah, thanks for the nice intro there. Uh, yeah, it's great. Um, pleasantly surprised to find out about the extras, tournament champions, stuff like that. That's that's really great. I know I've had a lot of friends playing in that tournament, and I'm always jealous every year. So, yeah, super happy with it. Well, I did the commentary for most of the final table, and it's always my job to say nice things to our winners. But I have to say that was literally one of the best final table performances I have ever seen. And there was one hand in particular I really wanted to ask about. There was a hand where you turned a pair of sevens into a bluff on a four flush board and ended up getting your opponent to lay down the jack of diamonds, which I believe was the third nuts at that point. So a uh, two part question. I was curious why you selected a hand that already had a pair in it to turn into a bluff. And did you think you'd be able to make your opponent lay down such a strong hand? It's an awkward hand because he made a play on the turn that's, that's really low frequency and very specific hands. Um, but versus that play, the only raises you do make on the turn. So basically when I, it was, I min raised the button, he called the big blind. It was a monotone flop. I made a small C bet, he called, and then the turn made a four flush, as you know, I think it was king five, three, seven. And uh, he led the turn, which is like a super specific group of hands. But against that play, you actually are only supposed to raise your seven X, like nine, seven, 10, seven, those type of hands. Based on the pre-flop setup, the way he was playing, he wouldn't have an ace, and he had just done something on like a king, king, 10, four, where he check called the flop and then led the turn, which was a total non-zero play. Like the four would be a turn card that I would be putting a huge volume of betting in position. Like he should expect me to bet that card a massive percentage of the time for a huge size in the hand. It was like two hands before that. So if he's doing that, he probably doesn't understand leading as well as he should and is probably doing it with too many hands and too linearly so i just thought that he might be leading there way too much and then way under calling so i just decided to put him in a spot basically now nick during the wpt woc real names are being used on party poker but your online nickname is actually kai Kilius. i studied latin at school and before I ask why your name is Caecilius, I have to ask, do you have a wife called Metella? <laughs> no, no Metella. I haven't heard that name in a long time, but <laughs> I studied Latin for nine years, actually. Wow, okay. <laughs> the gist of it, Caecilius, you know, he was the boss banker back then, and I made yeah. my screen name when I was like a senior in high school, so I was still taking Latin, and I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, yeah, okay, this makes sense. Don't make me look smart. What can we expect Nick Petrangelo to be busying himself with day to day? The place where my house is in Canmore is a huge outdoor community. Tons of mountain biking, stuff like that. Um, but I really, now that we, we've all had to find different ways to spend our time with more free time and stuff at home, since probably March, I've been biking like, you know, up to five times a week. I bought a gravel bike too, which is like a road bike, take it in the woods on different trails and stuff. So putting putting down a lot of uh, time and miles in that, and that's been great. Well, it sounds like you found a healthy work-life balance for the moment, but do you anticipate playing a lot of the remaining World Online Championship events on Party Poker? Yeah, yeah, definitely the bigger events on the WPT stuff, but I think I'm ready to play that cash game, kind of prioritize that. Thanks for taking the time to join us today and for everyone out there who wants to become the next WPT champion, get their name on the Mike Sexton Champions Cup like Nick Petrangelo. Our next eligible event will be the Knockout 3 million guarantee coming up on Party Poker this week. So best of luck to all of you out there and you tune in. I think it's only right that we toast our newest WPT champion, 
with a beautiful Baccarat Crystal Champagne Flute. To you, Nick, congratulations once again. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.